Fukuoka, my first full day here. This morning, today was pretty uneventful. I ate at McDonald's and I passed out. That's basically my entire day. Tonight, I wanted to go try street food in Fukuoka, but I heard it's really touristy, it's overpriced, it's not that good. So I'm looking for a seafood restaurant here that is supposed to be just spectacular. And hopefully, I'm hoping I can actually get a seat because like I said, it's Friday night and I don't have a reservation. This, this is the whole restaurant, the entire building. It's just a massive seafood restaurant. It's freaking, it's absolutely gorgeous by the way. Bonsai trees on the outside. Look at this place. This is more like a hotel than a restaurant. Wow, right away. Yep, this is a seafood restaurant. I've never seen a squid tank in my life. Oh man, this place is awesome, look at this. Literally the coolest restaurant set up for a seafood restaurant, look at this. All that fish is just in the middle. And you sit all around the different fish tanks. All the servers are wearing kimonos. Seem like a really traditional seafood place. I am so excited about dinner tonight. I mean, this is gonna be like the opposite of how I felt about McDonald's this morning. All right, so um, obviously the most, popular ones that are seasonal dishes here, they tell me. That looks great. I mean, if you love sashimi, this all looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, this is really, really fresh. But for me, um, they do have a ton of grilled fish, which I think is what I'm gonna go for. Grilled fish and marinated fish. Got a bunch of fried dishes here, tempura. Got some soups. All right, so most people here, they're eating sashimi. And these tanks, they're not just for display. They are literally getting the fish or squid out of these tanks and they're cooking it. So this is as fresh as you can get. Ah, my first dish has arrived. I gotta say, this place, the sashimi looks Amazing. I mean, I don't eat raw stuff, but man, I'm almost tempted. I'm almost converted tonight. So my first course, I don't, I mean, I think I'm gonna have to eat some raw stuff tonight. Just a little bit. It's a little piece of uni sitting on top. It looks like some sort of, uh, some sort of jelly. Never been a fan of uni. Still not really. Actually, that one was, was a little better than the ones I had before. I mean, that tasted like the ocean, but Tastes like a better part of the ocean. And this, I, I gotta try it. And this is a Polak fish roll. This is a Fukuoka specialty. Just like Kobe has his beef, Fukuoka has his Mantaiko fish roll. And it's uh, fermented in salt just a little bit. This is supposed to be, like I said, really, really, really popular here. And again, fish eggs, not my favorite thing. But even I gotta admit, that's some good stuff. Wow. If I tell you that's good, you better believe it because I don't love raw stuff. I don't love fish eggs. I'm kind of falling for that a little bit. It's spicy. And when you put it in your mouth, it doesn't taste like fish eggs, like at all. Zero fishiness. It's actually, it tastes like dozens of uh, little crispy crystals. It's not slimy. This thing is pretty darn amazing. This is so good. I'm gonna add it on my little, little roll here. Wow. So you can eat this fish roll on top of whatever, like rice, whatever you want. Actually, I, I can't really stop eating it. Um, that is pretty amazing for me. I think this is like a block of fish eggs of some sort. It's kind of heavy, look at it. It's kind of heavy. It's a little bouncy. <laughs> that tastes like miniature secret. That was literally cr the crispiest fish eggs I've ever had in my life. That's, I mean, it's, it's so crunchy. It's like, it's like a fish egg chip almost. Fantastic, fantastic first plate. I gotta say, pretty darn delicious. Next course, oh, look at that. This looks like a, a steamed rockfish. Wow, oh man, this is the prettiest soup I've ever seen in my life. Look at this most adorable little piece of greens ever. And this looks like a fish cake. Wow, prettier fish cake. By the way, when you drink soup in uh, Japan, you don't really use a spoon. Oh. This is a nice, nice bowl of seafood soup. It's like you can taste all the best things about an ocean, you know? Oh. That just might be the most tender piece of fish cake I've ever had. Actually, they weren't able to tell me exactly what fish this is, but look how amazingly tender this is. Have you guys seen this? I'm barely, 
Look at, oh man. Oh, look how easily the skin is removed on the, oh. This might be the easiest I've ever seen a fish skin come off of any fish that I've ever eaten. Do you guys, oh man, I know you're seeing this. Look at how effortlessly the chopsticks is going into this fish and you guys see all that juice is coming out? All right, let's take a, oh man, look at this. You know this is gonna be a good bite, right? The seafood here, not only is it so fresh, everything just tastes ridiculously clean. I've ate so many pieces of seafood so far, I haven't tasted a fishy flavor in any one of them. And I am in love with this piece of fish right here. I actually in love might be an understatement. This thing might be the love of my life right now. I'm gonna find out for you guys what this is. Because you need to get this if you come here. Holy smokes. Let's dip this in a little massage a little bit here. Yeah, there we go. Wow. The sauce is soy sauce based, a little sweet. It literally cuddles the fish, complements it in every single way possible. It highlights the sweetness, the, the gentleness of the fish, and just providing it just a tiny bit of umami flavoring. Guys, this is a masterpiece. This is seriously one of the greatest fish dishes I've ever had. This fish, they tell me, is a Thai or, or a wild sea bream. Guys, don't forget, it's, it's a sea bream. Get this dish when you, oh, you will thank me. This might be the one of the best fish dishes you will ever enjoy. You need to trust me on this. And actually, I got I got this. This is the fried mentaiko. Again, like I said, the specialty of Fukuoka, but cooked. There's like a billion little edible marbles just swarming my mouth right now. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think the raw version is better. I mean, this version it is really salty, and texture-wise, it's not actually as good as uh, as chewy as the as the raw version. So I would actually recommend that when you come here. Hmm. Next up, I have no idea what this. It, it looks like I can just kind of sun this thing. This is yummy. The fish is really flaky, and look at this. It's kind of only sliced in between here. Honestly, I mean, it's good, but nothing compared to that sea bream. You know, I think that sea bream might have just ruined my fish dinner tonight. My grilled mackerel is here. Look at this baby. Oh, that is a beauty. Little lemon goes on top. And to eat it, she told me to take the radish and mix it with my soy sauce. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, you guys need to bet on this horse. Oh yeah, that is an amazing piece of grilled fish. I love this restaurant for its ability to take the fishiness out of every single thing here. And all that's left is the beautiful, clean flavor of the fish, just like it's meant to be going into your mouth. Um, cooked to absolute perfection. The meat is so amazingly bouncy. If you like mackerel, and you should because it's a magnificent fish. If you want to eat the freshest, cleanest, most beautiful piece of grilled mackerel you may have ever had, you stop right here. You come right here. This is another fish. Look, this is fried. And they told me this is hochi, Japanese flathead fish. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm just having a great fish day today. Fried to absolute freaking loop perfection. Perfectly crispy on the outside. So tender and beautiful on the inside. Man, is it amazing. Get it fried, get the other two fish as well. Complete the fish trifecta here. And you're gonna be as happy as I look right now. Oh, by the way, my miso soup arrived. In Japan, you don't use a spoon to eat your soup. Take your chopstick, swish it around, mix it up a little bit. Oh, oh, me so love this. Wow, that's got some intense miso flavor. Oh, and it's great. Oh, this thing is perfect right now. Oh, a piece of eel here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> mm. That's a great piece of eel. Seasoning. They're, and they're used with wasabi, perfect. Wow. 
so in love with this place right now. So it's like a little cold salad. They, they brought this out. This is like course 10 already. Is um, abalone with what looks like, I think this is some kind of maybe miso sauce on top. The abalone. There's <laughs> a great piece of abalone. Usually I find abalone the way people cook it. A little rough, a little chewy. But this abalone is so soft, it probably cries during diaper commercials. Mm. <sighs> All right, I think I'm down to my last dish. My last course dessert. It looks like a spork and a cross between the bass signal and the Star Wars rebel symbol, right? Does it look like that? Ooh, juicy melon. It's probably not gonna be as good as the uh, $150 melon I had before. Mm. Wow. I feel like all melons in Japan are literally just like grown in some crazy flavor infusing sanctuary. Like a milk chewary. Seriously, like all the melons in Japan are just by far, by so much juicier, sweeter, more delicious than any other melon I've had anywhere else in the world. This is not even close. Mm. Strawberry season. My strawberries are insane. Melon, strawberry, actually a fantastic dessert. And this green tea, oh, oh, oh my lanta. Look at, oh, <laughs> look, 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 look. I'm just letting the, I'm just letting the spoon go. And look at this. It's, it's just sinking into this beautifully tender mochi matcha mousse looking thing. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if they made it in-house, but if they if they bought it from somewhere, I need to find out where that store is and get like 2,000 of those. I mean, it's just the most delicious matcha encased in the gentlest mochi shell, I think this side of the world. Basically, every single dish I ate here was just mind-blowing. They really elevated seafood by oh so much. And I 100% recommend, if you are ever in Fukuoka, one seafood restaurant to go eat at, this is the place. And it's crazy because this place is loaded with fish tanks, but you don't smell anything. It's, it's such a clean, beautiful atmosphere. The servers are so attentive and nice. They don't speak like much English at all, but they're actually really, really helpful to try to communicate with you. And yes, it's a little pricey, but come on, isn't all seafood restaurants a little pricey? But really, ridiculous quality. Some of the freshest, most tasty seafood you'll probably find in the city. Of course, guys, all the information for this place is in my description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.